My Gmail account actually looks really empty for my business, but don't be fooled, there are a lot of emails in here, they are just organized. So stay tuned because I am going to show you not only how to organize your Gmail account from this to this, but to automate things so this process is really easy. I'm Laura Bean and this is Creative Little World. So this is my Gmail inbox for my work. As you can see down the side here, I've got what Gmail calls labels. So these are the folders where you keep things like you, you on Outlook, you would organize them into folders. On Gmail, they're called labels. They have top level labels and sub level labels. So you can organize into different categories and different areas of your business. Okay, so let's show you how to get organized like this. For the purpose of this video, I have sent myself a few test emails so we can go through the process I use to set these systems up. Every morning when I open my inbox, I will look at what's arrived in there and I will go to the things that are instantly flagging as rubbish for me. So I will tick them and I will delete them because you don't need these in your inbox. If you've got emails that you know you're not gonna read, they're just spam, just delete them. One of the key things with this is that your inbox will get full and you'll end up paying for storage. And not only that, it's actually bad for the environment to store loads of things in the cloud that aren't necessary. So go through and just highlight the things that you're not gonna read, they're of no interest, they're clearly spam, tick all those boxes and just delete them. Just by doing this, you've probably got a more manageable inbox and a little less overwhelming for when you started. So now you've got rid of the clutter, let's look at how you organize the rest of the emails in your inbox. To start with, I'm gonna show you how to create a new label. I do this for all my clients so I can keep track of them and the work that I'm doing with them. So how do you create a label? Go up here and click on the cross and add a new label. It's as simple as that. So label it whatever you want to talk, whatever you want to call it, whatever works for you. So let's do an example here. I'm doing a new client example just to show you how this works. So if I hit create now, it would make it a top level. And if I wanted to have it as a sub level label, then you could just put nest label under. So you would tick that box and then select where you want it to sit under. So click create and then your label will appear over here on the left. Now I like my labels to stand out. So uh, to do this, you just need to change the color of the label. So if you, sit, if you click on the three dots there, you can go in, you can add a custom color um, or select one of the pre-made colors there. If you go for custom, you can decide the text color, the background color, make it really unique to each label. So hit apply and you can see there it's changed the color. So now you've got your emails created, let me show you how you label the email itself. So make sure you're in the email you want to filter and go up to the labels tab at the top there. You can either search for the label or scroll through and find it. Once you've got to the label that you want to allocate, click in the box and then hit apply. Then if you're like me and going for a clean and empty inbox, you just need to head up here and click the cross on inbox. And what that will do, it will take it out of the inbox itself and pop it underneath that label. So it will just be nestled under here rather than clustering up your inbox. So the beauty of labeling your emails is that it can also be automated so you can filter emails as they come in. So I'll show you how to do that now. So let's open that email again and head in to automate and filter this email automatically. So click on the three dots at the top here and go to filter messages like these. Now what I do here is I add the email address of the email that I want to filter. So pop that in there, or should automatically put that email address in when you do this, then click create filter. What you'll have here is some options and we want to go to apply the label. So click on that and then choose which label you want to add them to. If you haven't already created the label, you can do that here as well. Once you've selected it, you'll have the option to also apply previous emails. So if you've already got a conversation going with someone, you can also apply 
filter to the 10 matching emails or however many there are from previous conversations. Okay, so you would just select that. For the purpose of this, I am not going to. Uh, but what I've done then is then create filter. Okay, so that has re-added that to the top there. So what I wanna show you now is what it looks like when we get an email from that email address that we already have a filter to. So I'll sneak off and resend the email and there we go. See, when that comes in now, it's already gonna have that label attached. And when you're using things like a certain color for clients, it can make it really quick and easy to see that that is a client emailing. So it stands out in your inbox, you know whether it's urgent, whether you need to look at it now, can wait for later. And it will also automatically put it in their folder for them. It's then just a case of when you're ready to look at the email, opening it up. And if you decide you don't want them in the inbox like I do, you can just click to delete them from the inbox. But you don't have to faff about labeling every email that's come in. And you can just make a note, set a task. If it's for client work, set the task in your task management system. So you know you've got a task for later and then remove them from the inbox and you can just have a nice clear inbox knowing that they are in their own folder waiting for you when you are ready. Now I don't just organize my emails by using folders, I also organize the inbox itself. Now, this is obviously gonna be personal to you, but I like to do it in a way that is really clear if I've got things that I need to look at later. It helps me keep track of things like leads and it can help me organize so I know what work or who I need to contact next. So let me show you how to do that. So from your inbox here, we can see that we've got a few emails. I'm gonna demonstrate how I have organize this and you might want to do the same with yours. So to start with, start email. So these are things that perhaps just need addressing, you need to get round to, make them top priority. So click on the star and then when you head back to your inbox, you'll be able to look at starred messages separately. So I open that and I can see there, so it's gonna list all my starred messages in one place so I can easily go to this and know what I need to do. Now obviously what you prioritize is personal to you, but I also like to have all my leads and follow up showing in my inbox. So it prompts me to move on with my process. So to do that, do as we did before and tag the email with the right label. Now the way I've got my inbox organized, which I'll show you shortly, means that it will sit in the all leads and follow up section. So again, I've got a real clear visibility of what I need to do next. Then I've got emails that I might just want to leave in the general inbox. Now this is up to you, as you can see, I actually don't do this, but if you've read an email and it's not been labeled, um, or you've not moved it somewhere, then it can just sit here in the everything else section. What I also like about this is that you can collapse and expand the section. So if you want to check in and see what leads you need to follow up with, check what starred, what, what you need to do next, then you just easily open those up without feeling cluttered. You can also drag and drop emails into labels if you just need to file something quickly. If you like the idea of your inbox being organized like that, you need to customize it and here's how we do that. Firstly, head up to the settings, the cog at the top of the page there. Once in there, you'll have a few options on customizing your inbox. Scroll down to the priority inbox for the one like mine and you need to click customize. If you have the default setting in Gmail, you may find it looks like this, where you have different tabs for say like social posts or promotions. If you want one like mine, then click on priority inbox. Okay, here it will already give you some options. So most of these are like I have. You have unread at the top, starred. If you want to add a label, go to options and go down to more options and it'll give you the option to show all from a label. So you select the label that you want your inbox to show. Okay, so for me, like I said, it's the leads and follow-ups. 
but whatever is a priority for you, you can have that so it once it you're in your inbox, it shows at the forefront. So then you would just save the changes and then you would have your personalized inbox. Lastly, and of course this is a personal preference for your inbox, is that you may want to add a little bit of color to it. So if you go into settings, you can click a backdrop. So you can have a nice beach look, you can have say like you were in the, in the forest or anywhere that you like to give your inbox a bit of color. I personally like the beach one, but that's up to you. You can keep it plain if you prefer. So there you have it. Hopefully by now you know how to organize your Gmail inbox and hopefully it's just gonna help take away the overwhelm from having an over cluttered email system that you just leave everything and can't keep on top of it. So I hope that's helped. If it has, make sure you subscribe because I'll be making more videos like this and drop a comment below. Tell me how it's helped you, what you've done to customize your own inbox for your emails. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.